Hello, my name's Graham Allen and I've got a range of new BB guns made by the firm ASG of Denmark. They're all made under license from various firearms manufacturers. The first one is the Steyr M9A1. It normally fires 9mm parabellum cartridges, but these ones fire BBs. It's got a 19 shot BB magazine loaded by pushing the BBs into the top here and you've got a, a slide which takes the pressure off the spring so that holds 18, uh, sorry, 19 BBs to fit a CO2 capsule pull that to the rear you have a thumb wheel here CO2 capsule goes in there Use the thumb wheel here to pierce the capsule, close that back up, place the BB magazine into the pistol. On the right here you have the safety catch, forward for safe, nothing happens like so. Pull that to the rear and that would normally fire. Sights consist of a U-notch at the rear and a blade foresight. The foresight's got a white dot. The rear sight has these two fiber optic tubes which loop round, collecting the light and give you two luminous aim points here. Underneath at the, at the front here, you have a Picatinny rail. So if you wish, you can fit a laser. Very ergonomic pistol, very well made, out of polymer. Nice little pistol. So that's the Steyr M9A1 BB gun. The next one is the CZ75D, which is a compact 9mm handgun. Obviously today it's the uh, BB version. The firing valve CO2 capsule and magazine all combined in this one unit. So you load up with the BBs, so 17 in this particular model. Once again you have a thumb wheel at the base, you would undo that, put the capsule in, screw it back up to pierce the capsule, place that back in the pistol, there's the magazine release here. Safety catch up for safe, nothing happens, push it down, double action or single action, have a slide to cock the action, foresight once again is a post with a white dot, rear dot, either side of the aperture at the back here, it's actually adjustable for windage also with an allen key. Once again, very nice little BB gun. The third pistol is the Dan Wesson 8 inch revolver, which would normally be a 357 Magnum revolver. This one's quite unusual in that it takes BBs placed into the end here, they're then placed into the swing out cylinder. You have a release catch like on the real thing placed into the cylinder six at a time to load up with CO2 pull the grip back once again a thumb wheel undo that place the CO2 capsule into the grip Tighten the thumb wheel, close the grip. Can be fired single action by pulling the hammer to the rear and firing like so. Or double action which brings back the hammer and rotates the chamber. Once again we have a ramped foresight 
with a white dot and a U notch at the rear. The rear unit is elevation adjustable, uh, sorry, is elevation adjustable here and windage adjustable here. Should you wish, you can fit a red dot sight using the Picatinny rail. You remove the rear sight, slide that onto the rail, and then use the grub screws on the top here to keep it in position. Once again, very nice pistol, very well made, this time with aluminium. Some very nice pistols from ASG of Denmark. Nice BB guns, very well made and very authentic as well.